Good afternoon everybody, this is Nelka again and I have one interesting comment from our subscriber in YouTube because this uh, video, when I play this video, one of our subscribers made a comment and uh, this is S4SS. He said, uh, I don't know if he or she, uh, S4SS said, you can save yourself some time by using snipping tool instead of screenshotting. <laughs> So a snipping tool is built into Windows. Jing is also very good, but you need to download it. So that's why I try I try this snipping tool and it's really fun and it's much easier compared to print screen. And then you uh, once you do the print screen, you will open it into um, paint and then again edit in paint. So I try this one. So this is the snipping tool you can see here. And I will show it to you how you will do it. It's in your um, Windows. You just go and type snipping tool. So for example, in your search tab, you just say snipping tool and you can see it's here. So just click that one. So let's go and try it. I always try the snipping tool every time I open the um, photo, uh, the false color with a legend and insert it in my file. So for example, I want to add this one in my report because um, if you add this one as your export in your ex export tab, it will be very heavy because um, it uh, the, the, the objects and everything will be part of your uh, file, PDF file. So I'd rather um, screenshot it, but now I will use snipping tool and then add it in my uh, calculation report. So what I'm going to do now is I will just use the snipping tool here. So I'll just say new and then I will just um, drag it here and then uh, select the area which I want to, to add. And then Yes, it's there. And then I will just say save as and then I will say uh, JPEG. I will select JPEG. I'll put it in my picture folder and I will say false color or false, yeah, false color and then save it. And then I'll go and um, go and uh, insert it in my file. So I'll go file, import, and then image file. And then I'll go to my picture and I'll just, yeah, select my false color using snippet and now it's selected there. So I'll go to my documentation and then I will add that one in my cover page because I want to show the client that uh, the lux level are all properly achieved. So I'll go and insert that one. So I'll go to the figure, uh, configure the page and then uh, add the, the JPEG that I added here from using snippet and then it will now add it to my file. So there you go. So thank you very much um, um, S4SS for your amazing comment and it's very useful really thank you very much and now i share it to the other so yeah i am sure other lighting designers will be very thankful that you made this kind of comment so yeah thank you very much and see you again on the next tutorial bye